Okay, hi, I'm Dan Green from Forum S Company. We're here at Superbooth 16 2016 in Berlin, and here we have our lovely modular synthesizer, which we're showing off some of our new modules here at Superbooth. Uh, we have, this is, this is going to be our new thing. It's coming out later in April. It's the dual looping delay. What we have here is a two-channel, high-quality, low-noise, very long looping time delay. Each channel, the length of the loop or the delay time is set by a clock, and then you can multiply or divide that uh, clock speed so the channels are synced or they can be unsynced but still tied to a common clock. There's also an option to completely unsync them from the clock, unquantized to anything. So this can do everything from your normal echo sounds to loops. You can have an infinite hold, so you loop the sound. A loop length can be up to 88 seconds. You can reverse the loops. You can window around in the loop with by turning the feedback knob uh, when it's in an infinite hold. You can change the start and end time of the loop with the time knob. There's wet, dry, there's delay level, there's CV controls for everything. Does just about everything you'd want a looper, a delay, and a, or looping delay to do. It also can be run at audio rate, which is a really cool effect. If you patch a VCO into the, the ping time, which is the delay time, you can do very short delay times. With feedback, turns into a resonant delay. You can do the car plus strong type sounds. You can do uh, very ambient drony type sound just by feeding a simple triangle wave into it. Playing with the feedback, playing with the delay time, which is the, the size. You get comb filtering effects. Pretty cool, very clean, very low noise. We've worked really hard. We use high quality codecs to make this the lowest noise Eurorack format delay looper that we've tried. So this will be out at the, uh, we start production April 18th, so it'll be out at the end of April. It's retailing at $415 US. It'll be available everywhere that sells our products, which is all the major synthesizer stores. So look for it there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, also at our lovely booth, we have our merch table. We have 4MS t-shirts, 4MS screwdrivers, yep, and uh, yeah, these are great for the, fits the modules, screws, yes, absolutely you can, yeah, this is for you, here, yeah, and we have our, um, our campaign for modular addiction awareness, uh, which is an important thing to remember, this is addictive. I don't, slightly even cooler and a little more serious, we are in Portland, Oregon, uh, we're based in Portland, Oregon in, in the United States, and uh, we're starting, we are supporting a synth library at a nonprofit group called S1 um, in Portland, which is a really cool project. It gives people who normally wouldn't have the opportunity to work with synthesizers because they're so intimidating and expensive and you don't know how to get into it, um, in Portland to check out synths, to learn to go to uh, open studio hours and play with these devices and uh, we focus uh, a, a lot of the workshops they have uh, priority given to women and people with non-binary gender and uh, we want to get a different kind of crowd than you normally see at the synthesizer conventions into synthesizers by providing uh, the place and the education of opportunities to do this so um, so yeah so that's our lovely booth here and uh, thank you for listening